What's up guys, Adrian Amaral with 911 Gadgets. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to disable that annoying reverse beep sound on the Toyota Prius 2010 and up. So as you can see here, I'm gonna turn on this one. I've already done it to this 2015. All right, so now it's on. I'm gonna put it in reverse. That that's the seatbelt. That one you can also remove, but or disable. But I'm gonna leave that one for safety reasons. Now the reverse. Here we go. There, it just beeps once. Now usually it'll keep beeping, and it's just so annoying. So now let's go jump into that 2010. This is a 2015. All right, so we're in the 2010 now. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on. Wait for it to say ready. There it is. Put it in reverse. Well, first off, let me um let me put my seatbelt on so we don't get that beeping. There you go, reverse. You see that? It's in reverse and it's beeping. And it's like I have a long driveway and it's so annoying. So let me show you guys what you need to do, okay? All right, let me take it off. Put it back on park. You're gonna need an OBD uh, device. This is a USB one. Okay, so this one I bought for like 30 bucks on Amazon and I was having trouble finding an app that will use it because most of the apps like Dr. Prius and I forget what other ones, Carista or something like that, they use an OBD device but it's a Bluetooth one and they wouldn't pick this one up. I even paid for a pro version of one of the apps and man, it just didn't. So I did some research. I almost bought a Bluetooth one on Amazon but I already had this one because I use this for checking uh, codes on other cars and stuff, right? So finally, I did some research and I found one called Torque Pro. Now there's a Torque Lite, but that one you can't do any editing or anything like that. So get Torque Pro and then you're gonna plug this in down here. You see, this is where the port's at. Okay, so we're plugging it in. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my phone that has that that uh, app already okay and you're gonna need to download a couple of things so I think just one thing I found a, a zip file that you're gonna use so you're gonna jump over to go to the Google Play Store or iPhone should have it as well so torque pro app for Android okay install that's OBD auto that's an ad so this is the one see torque pro I already have it for four, five bucks and there's a torque light so you're gonna do that one okay so then when you plug in your OBD USB right it's gonna ask you so see I have two of them I'm gonna open it with torque pro just once beautiful all right so here it is now what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna go over and download see um, I was reading a lot of stuff and you know so finally I found one you know before the 2010 you can do a series of buttons over here on the dash and it'll remove it but not this not for these anymore so here it is so you can down um, I'll leave the link to this in the description so you can read it and, and have the directions but here you go so see it tells you what to do you download the CSV file so here it is Prius no Prius no rev beep you click on it and then it's gonna tell you to download so you're gonna click download up at the top okay then from there uh, you install the torque pro app or whatever now you're gonna need to move that file that you just downloaded you need to move it to the torque uh, folder which is hidden okay so you're gonna go here internal storage and you're gonna go to the little menu button at the top settings and you're gonna show hidden system files okay so you're gonna find that download right so it's right here the Prius no rev beep so you're gonna hold it you're gonna copy it right then you're gonna go back and then because it's uh, not hidden anymore the torque folder see dot torque see right there you click on that and you basically just copy here see copy here and it's gonna paste onto here so now you can go back to your torque pro app all right and then you're gonna hit, hit this little settings here settings and um, you're gonna go to manage extra PIDs so it, it's showing there already but if you haven't done this yet I'm gonna clear the list okay there it is clear the list okay so here you go so 
you're gonna see this once you click on manage custom obd2 pi blah, 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 pids then you're gonna click on the menu button up here and then you're gonna do add predefined set you're gonna find prius reverse beep and that you're only gonna find that if you've copied the file to the dot torque folder okay you click on that and now you have those so you're gonna see the there's two of them the disable one and then there's a query so the query you're gonna it's gonna test it you're gonna test it and, and you're supposed to get a zero if you get a zero that means it's on okay so let's click on that hit edit and then you're gonna run down and you're gonna click test there you go see result for equation zero so that means that it's on if you get a zero so just hit back now you're gonna do the reverse beep query sorry no the reverse beep disable click on that then you hit edit and then you scroll down and you hit test okay so now you did result question no response that's cool so you just yeah just don't worry about this you hit close go back and that should have turned it off already so now we're going to go back to query to check it again then we go here edit then we're going to go down to test and now you should get a 64 and not a zero there it is result for equation 64 that means that it is off now close it go back and we can try it but i'm i have good faith that it's going to work now so i'm going to erase this because you don't want to accidentally remove or, or edit this stuff so let's clear the list okay it should have already saved the settings to your computer all right this is the moment of truth guys you can see i can remove it already you know i can unplug it now and let's see let's put it in reverse and beautiful see it's not beeping annoyingly anymore whoop, whoop. let's put it back on park let's test it again beautiful at first with that first beep i got scared i was like it didn't work guys if you guys own a prius and you guys are tired of that annoying reverse beeping and the seat belts too you can do it too I, um i'm not gonna do it because you know i have kids and everything i want to make sure that they're wearing their seat belts but if you guys are tired of that annoying reverse beep i hope this video helped you please like it share it subscribe to this channel and if you guys want to learn how to open a cell phone repair shop i know it has nothing to do with cars but it is gadgets and this is essentially a giant gadget please visit our website 911gadgets.com forward slash cell phone repair training we'll teach you how to open a cell phone repair shop for only 39 bucks and right now we are starting to help people open their own shops from a to z so if you don't have any money don't worry we're going to help you fund it we're going to help you set it up we're going to help you do the grand opening and start helping you make some money if you guys are interested, send me a text message at 951-399-7911 or send me an email at contact at 911gadgets.com. I'll see you guys on the next one.